weather portion of the Ag Week TV right now. We've got the two-week forecast coming up. Let's talk first of all about Hurricane Laura. Long gone as a hurricane, but still impacting weather and rainfall across portions of the United States. Two things are impacting the weather of the agricultural section of the Midwest and Great Plains. It's cooling down quite a bit in the northern part, starting to get a little early fall weather. And rainfall pattern now is shifting into a very definite dichotomy. It's dry in the west and it's rainy in the east. And some of that does have something to do with uh, the remnants of Laura. Jet stream pattern right now starting to look much more like a common September pattern. Much more higher amplitude starting to see some little shifts and splits in the jet stream from time to time. Hot weather confined to the south. Cooler weather starting to penetrate the north. Now let me clarify. When I show hot this time of year I'm talking about highs at least in the 90s and maybe in the hundreds. When I'm talking cool, I'm talking really cool. Not just a cool day like 70, but the cool air is like in the 50s, like below 60 in the 50s or in the 40s even for highs. That's what I'm talking about for cool weather. So with the jet stream beginning to show some signs of diving into the central U.S., one little split here over eastern Canada that uh, it's not really a storm, it's actually a weaker flow of the jet. But it does mean it's going to allow this much cooler weather to drop down into south central Canada. There probably will be some frosts getting pretty far down south into Manitoba and Ontario. I don't expect that kind of weather into the states, at least not yet anyway. And down south, it's still going to be quite hot in the southwest, southern plains and the southeastern states. But there will be some relatively mild air across the northern plains, upper Midwest. A lot of this is going to be highs in the 60s and 70s for this upcoming week. And as we head toward the end of the week, not really very much change. In fact, another surge of cooler weather as that jet kind of continues to keep carved out in the middle. And once that cool weather gains some momentum, we may get some days in northern Minnesota by the middle of September, say the 6th to 12th, where you're talking high temperatures that are only going to be in the 50s, and that could bring a little light frost to some of those frost-prone areas of northern Minnesota. I don't expect that will overtake the country. Rain-wise, the remnants of Laura take up residence in the middle Atlantic states, and there will likely be some torrential rainfall this week associated with that. Central Plains in the west looks mostly quite dry. The second week, now we're talking Labor Day weekend and the week that follows, September 6 to 12, still looking mostly pretty dry across the west, still looking fairly rainy in the east, so the Corn Belt will still have its uh, showers, still get some chance to uh, get a little more water on some of those fields, but the Great Plains from North Dakota down through Texas is looking fairly dry the next couple of weeks. It looks like it's going to stay that way, dry and cool in the north.